Low discharge is used in a variety of scientific and technical fields, but it is most famous as a source of light in different gas discharge tubes. In daylight lamps, radiation of low discharge is absorbed by a layer of special substances applied to the outer surface of the tube, which, affected by absorbed radiation, starts to glow. One can actually generate radiation similar to daylight by selecting such dry substances, phosphorus. If compared to conventional incandescent lamps, such bulbs consume a lot less power. Gas discharge tubes are also used for various advertising and decorative purposes, where they are shaped as different figures or letters. By filling tubes with various gases, one can get them to light up with different colors. Neon would make them red, argon bluish-green. Gas discharge tubes can be made to work off low firing voltage, because the potential drop at the cathode depends on the material the latter is made of. For instance, in a neon lamp, electrodes are made of two iron leaves covered with a layer of barium. That is why, since the work function of the barium electrons is low, the potential drop at the cathode constitutes only about 70 volts. This makes the bulb light up already when connected to a regular lighting network. This kind of bulbs is used for alarm purposes in various kinds of equipment, indicator lights. In the industry and laboratory practices, glow discharge is used in cathode metal sputtering, because the substance of the cathode bombarded by positively charged ions gradually converts to a gaseous state and serves as a metallic coat on the tube's walls. Thus one can achieve an even and high metallic coat by placing various atoms in front of the cathode in glow discharge. This method is specially used to manufacture high-quality metal mirrors. The method of cathode sputtering is also applied in atomic emission spectroscopy in order to conduct a layer-by-layer -layer analysis of different materials. However, the most important application of low discharge is found in the relatively recently created quantum light sources, gas lasers.